record. Okay, thank you, Start. Right, so if I can have all the participants to turn on your videos, thank you so much. It doesn't matter if you don't have your, apa tu? Kalau ada, okay lah. Kalau tak ada your background pun, it should be fine. Um, so there is, we'll, we have two more yang boleh, uh, kalau boleh buka your, um, your video. Because if we can get started right away, then we can, you know, then kita tak bayar rushing kan nanti. Itu je. Okay, so I guess um, we'll just go with this. Okay, so thank you so much. So smile ladies. One, two. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, um, let's see. Hello. Okay. Let me save this first. Kalau lagi tak jadi. Nangis. Okay, great. It works. Alright, so let's get started. Okay. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon everyone. Okay, uh, my name is Nor Hidayah. So I will be the chair for this session. Um, today we should have five presenters. Okay, uh, Nurul Azmira. I see Nurul Azmira there. Wan Nazriya. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Sang Kei. Okay, Laili dan Norlena. Okay, so before we start with the first presenter, I would like to remind everyone that you have about 10 minutes Okay, 10 minutes to present okay, your research and we have Q&A for additional five minutes. Okay, anything that you would like to ask before we start? Presenters? Okay, no. Okay, the first presenter is uh, Nurul Azmira. Okay, her topic is customer satisfaction towards a restaurant service quality in Perak during COVID-19 pandemic. So the platform is yours. Azmira. Uh, okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all the audience. Uh, first of all, uh, can all of you uh, hear my voice? Yes. Yes. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, can all of you uh, see my slide? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, can I start now? Sure. Good afternoon to the uh, fellow audience. In this session, my name is Nur Azmira Eliana Bente Asha and I will present my research project titled Customer Satisfaction to a Restaurant Service in Perak During COVID-19 Pandemic. Uh, this slide contains 13 sections as shown in this slide. Okay, I will start the, with the background of the study. COVID-19 is a new virus that is dangerous and easy to spread to hum humans which can cause death. Uh, WHO announced COVID-19 has been considered as a pandemic when the disease strike within a large scope. Uh, Para on rank 7 in January 2020 among all states in Malaysia as stated by Statista Research Department 2021 at this time. According to Zavri 2020, had a restaurant service such as dine-in is the activity that everyone, to, everyone wants to do the most after quarantine for a long day. But they were very strict in choosing the restaurant. Okay, for the problem statement, first, restaurants customer at Rutley changed their multiple demands to a single primary demand. Uh, this statement stopped by yours and change 2021. Uh, then, server will be lack of improvement support by yours and change 2021. Uh, this is because 
uh, the shortage of customer goes to restaurant during the COVID-19 pandemic. Third, during the COVID-19 pandemic, restaurant revenue have dropped while the business must struggle to find the cash to pay the their employees. Okay, uh, this statement was supported by like Shmi and Asharina 2020. In this case, restaurant manager needs to come employ more workers. After that, our research objective in this study are to examine to what extent the restaurant service quality influence customer satisfaction and to investigate the most influential factor contributing to restaurant service quality during COVID-19 pandemic. Thus, the research question is in this study are to what extent does the restaurant service influence customer satisfaction and what is the most influential factor contributing to restaurant service quality during COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, uh, beside that, uh, for the literature review, first is for the service quality. This study used a service quality theory or known as self call by Prasuraman, in which it is important to gain more customer and their trust through restaurant service, restaurant service experience. So, uh, this statement supported by Sabe et al. that said that a manager should focus on service quality because it is the most significant tool of customer satisfaction. Then for the restaurant environment, Sabe et al. 2014 state that restaurant environment is important to attract the customer satisfaction when experiencing a restaurant service. Then for the price, Lakshmi and Sharina said in their study that price are no longer the cause of the decline in customer satisfaction. Furthermore, for assurance, Konipov state that our customer behavior has changed because security and convenience are the main consideration during the COVID-19 pandemic. Then for waiting time, according to Tom and Luke 2010, there is that said customer satisfaction will increase when waiting time decrease. In this case, uh, customer will, will get a higher satisfaction uh, when the food, uh, food serving or payment process are fast. Then for the customer satisfaction, according to Kaki and Panti 2018, when some restaurant criteria are, met, are not met their, their expectation, uh, customer will not visit the restaurant again. Then, uh, it is the research framework which adapted from Sabe et al. 2014. Um, the dependent variable is customer satisfaction to restaurant service and the independent variable is service quality which contains of restaurant environment, price, assurance and waiting time. After that, for the research hypothesis, all the independent variables have a relationship with dependent variable which is classified as H1, H1A, H1B, H1C, and H1D are uh, as shown in this slide. Uh, next, for the methodology, first is research sampling and design. Uh, researcher use a quantitative analysis in collecting data. The population in the study is a restaurant customer who had experienced restaurant service in Perak during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, for the sample size, a uh, researcher must get at least 135 respondents which are expressed as one of nine ratio according to her at all 2010 and Palan 2007. They have suggested the minimum number to find the sample size of on a large population. This study also used a non-random sampling which is convenient sampling. Uh, then for research instru instrumentation, the questionnaire uh, used a close end question and using a bilingual format which is English and Bahasa Malaysia. Uh, the questionnaire was adapted from Shahab et al. 2013, uh, 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 Karkit and Panti 2018, Lahab et al. 2020, and Al Muhammad 2017. Then uh, the scale used in this study are dichotomous scale, category scale, and Likert scale. Besides that, for the data collection procedure, uh, the questionnaire was distributed uh, through personal messages on social media including QR code scanning by customer at the restaurant where the researcher did an industrial training in Perak. For the result and findings, first, researcher analyzed uh, the data start by finding the demographic profile. Uh, 148 response respondents are acceptable in the study. Uh, the demographic are uh, divided by customer demographic and restaurant demographic as shown in this slide. Okay, uh, after that, a uh, researcher did a correlation analysis to find the relationship between each variable and to test the hypothesis. From the table in this slide, all variable was positively correlated with each other which the person correlation value is range from 0 0.5 uh, 574 to uh, 0 0.5 754 which reflect a large correlation. All the independent variables also were positively correlated with our customer satisfaction and had a large correlation.
Okay, next research, research did a regression analysis to measure how much the variation of independent variable due to change in more in one or more independent variable. Okay, uh, we can see the normal PP plot and scatter plot shows that the questionnaire was distributed normally. From the table in this slide, uh, the R square value was 0 0.714, means that our independent variable explains 71.4% of the variance in customer satisfaction. Based on the value of R square shows that uh, customer satisfaction was affected by 70.6% due to our restaurant environment, price, assurance, and wait waiting time, and uh, the remaining was due to the other factor. Uh, then the researcher looked at the beta value that show how much dependent variable affected by the independent variable. The value of beta, uh, the value of beta showed that Ashura had much positive impact on customer satisfaction with beta number. A uh, beta value is 0 0.313. This means that this variable made uh, the strongest unit contribution to explain the dependent variable. Then restaurant environment had to had the second largest beta value uh, followed by waiting time and price. After that, beta value for service quality is 0 0.840. Also support the finding by run a regression analysis for service quality. After that, the result discussion uh, for objective one was achieved, achieved and as all the hypothesis has been support like shown in the slide, there was a positive relationship between service quality and customer satisfaction. This statement was supported by way at all 2021. They, they found out that customer more focused on the service quality. Then there was a positive relationship between restaurant environment and customer satisfaction. This statement supported by Kim at all 2020. They said that customer satisfaction was highly involved when dining experience by the restaurant environment. Uh, furthermore, there was a positive relationship between price and customer satisfaction. This statement supported by Lakshmi and Sharina 2020 and Star 2020 where they said in the study that some customers are willing to pay more during pandemic as long as they are safe. Next, uh, there was a positive relationship between assurance and customer satisfaction. This statement supported by Gonipath 2020 where they found that consumers are more focused on security during the COVID-19 pandemic. Lastly, there was a positive relationship between waiting time and customer satisfaction that supported by Yoss and Cheng 2021. They found that customers do, do not want to be at the restaurant for a long time because of the risk of COVID-19 virus infection. In the objective two, our researcher found that Ashura made the strongest uh, statistically significant unit contribution to explaining the, the, the dependent variable. This statement supported by Kim at all 2021, they state that the assurance provided at the restaurant by the restaurant's safety and the staff hygiene has the greatest uh, impact on customer satisfaction. Okay, then for the significant uh, of the study, First, based on academic contribution, this study will establish new knowledge and extend to the researcher on service quality and customer satisfaction. Then for the practical contribution, this study can help restaurant operators improve the quality of service provided to the customer during pandemic. Uh, thus, for the limitation and recommendation, this study is difficult in estimating the exact population and the sample size in Malaysia. And as there is a no valid number of people who experience restaurant, restaurant service in Perak. The recommend, uh, recommendation for the future study is to narrow the scope of the population. Then it was difficult to find the other range instead of 18 to 25 years old. Uh, therefore, it's suitable for collect data by face-to-face -face or interview session. After that, it was difficult uh, to find the respondent who can answer the questionnaire as as the questionnaire is distributed online, it is better to collect data through an interview session, whether by phone call or face-to-face. -face. Uh, lastly, for the conclusion, all restaurants need to focus on these four elements if they need to obtain customer satisfaction during COVID-19 pandemic. At the same time, we can reduce the risk of being infected by the COVID-19 pandemic virus by reducing the number of cases recorded in the country. Uh, so, when the hospitality industry is concerned about the assurance at their premise, their revenue will increase and customer satisfaction at, and at the same time uh, can reduce the spread of coronavirus disease. Uh, lastly, this are uh, the reference used by the researcher in the slide presentation. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Azmira. Very good presentation. Okay, any question from the floor, from the audience? Mm 
one has Linda. Do you have any question? Uh, at this moment, no. Thank you, Miss Azmira, for the presentation. Very detailed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I enjoy it. Thank you. If no question, we can move to second presenter, uh, Wan Nazria, with the topic. Uh, the okay, Hasrul Yushairi. Any question? Yeah, yeah, I have a question uh, for the presenter. Thank you for uh, the the opportunity for me to ask. Because I'm, I'm seeing a, a, a rubric here at number eight, ability to, res to respond to justify questions raised by audience or juries. Okay. Nampak macam uh, presenter ada uh, nervous sikit, yeah? Okay, tadi. Okay, uh, okay, tak apa. All right. So uh, when I look at your title, your title is about custom satisfaction, okay? But when I look at your problem statement, there is no problem at all on satisfaction. So how would you would like to respond on that matter? Okay. Uh, the problem statement is uh, for example, uh, problem statement number two is server, server will be lack of improvement. Uh, so, uh, uh, this research uh, will provide uh, an answer about the about how uh, how restaurant can attract uh, attract customer satisfaction, and at the same time, customer will uh, go to the restaurant and. And at the same time, a server or waiter will uh, will improve their their quality of of work their work quality to serve the customer. If they are not uh, satisfied with with the restaurant, uh, there will be less customer uh, use the restaurant service, right? Okay. Well. Uh... Madam Chairperson, so uh, I'm, I'm not really sure that I can accept that kind of answer, but uh, we are not in the platform to query about your presentation. So overall, you you have the ability to respond to the question, so, so I may acknowledge that. So thank you for your response. Okay, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, second uh, presentation from Wan Nazria with the topic, the personal factors influencing career choice of final year hospitality students. Okay, Wan Nazre, are you ready? Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, to our uh, moderator, Dr. Nuhidaya, and also all the juries and also uh, the fellow presenters. Okay, so uh, I share the slide first. Okay, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So uh, my name is Wana Zira Binti Wanawabi. I'm the, um, re representing the my team members, okay, to present the top, uh, the studies that uh, uh, under the topic of the personal factors influencing career choice of a final year hospitality students, okay. And then uh, this is the presentation outlines, okay, starting with the introduction and then uh, with the end of a conclusion and also recommendation from our studies, okay. So uh, as we can see, the introduction where we talk about the uh, final year students that uh, have been involved in the hospitality industries, okay, hospitality study. Okay, so according to the uh, Sirhan study, the previous study, uh, talking about the students, they are not really fussy in terms of uh, choosing their career path, but uh, in Malaysia, they have a difficulty in terms of finding a job. Okay. And then we can see in the uh, hospitality industry itself, uh, even though the experienced worker keep on changing their job, but the organization will uh, accept um, more to have the preference for the uh, experienced worker as compared to the uh, fresh graduates. Okay, So in this situation, we, we see that uh, the career choice of uh, final year students or the graduates um, 
from the institutions and uh, universities and also institution, they might have a good career choice uh, in the first place. Okay, the first career choice, the graduate should be uh, more uh, choose their career choice based on uh, some factors. Okay, so there are several factors that affect their interest of a career choice, such as gender, parental influence, uh, job uh, opportunities, and also personal interests. Okay, and then other than that, the career uh, needs to be suited to the personality of the uh, students or the graduate itself. Okay, and then the interest uh, because it will help the study uh, the students to develop deeper uh, in their career activities. Okay, and then uh, this is the problem statement that we are looking uh, at, which is where we referring to the uh, Labour Force Malaysia 2021. Okay, so at the end, the bottom here, we can see that. Uh, basically, the unemployment rate, okay, so, uh, is a uh, we can say say that is a stagnant, okay, starting from the nineteen eighty two towards the twenty nineteen, okay, is about uh, three point four, okay, three point four, three point three to three point four uh, average, okay. However, the changes landscape, okay, happened during the pandemic COVID nineteen. Okay, and then uh, after that, we can see the uh, employ unemployment rate is uh, increasing. Okay, and then, uh, however, this particular study being held uh, before the COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic during the 2019. Okay, and then uh, this is the graduate, the infographic in terms of the graduate that being, have, uh, that being uh, produced by the institutions in Malaysia. Okay, which is, uh, we can see the differences between the 2000. Uh, 19 and also 2020 okay there is an increasing in terms of the number have been produced uh, the graduate from the institution okay so uh, as a problem statement okay the study is uh, to identify what are the personal factors and also the most influential factors in the career choice of a hospitality industry among the final year uh, graduate students so this is our uh, methodology which is the um, a brief of a methodology that we have uh, that we uh, had applied, which is uh, we are, our respondents is among the final year hospitality student, we, uh, which is uh, based on the Bachelor of uh, Hospitality Management and also the Bachelor of uh, Food Service Management that in uh, UITM Terengganu. Okay, and then we are using the cluster sampling with the uh, Google uh, form. Okay, and then after that, they, uh, there are four, uh, 148 uh, responses have been written and then analyzed by the SPSS uh, software. Okay, so for the discussion, so we can see that uh, from our respondents, okay, the female uh, respondents, as usual, the female respondents is high as compared to the uh, male respondent. So uh, with the 65.1%. Okay, and then at the age of 21 to 23 years old, okay, uh, because most of them are at the end of a um, final year, okay, and then with the 85.5%, uh, okay, and then most of the respondents answered uh, and participate in this particular studies, they are come from the bachelor in uh, food service management with the 67.8% as compared to the other bachelor in hospitality industry. Okay, and then uh, next is a semester. So the respondent is come from the uh, semester five and also semester six. Okay, so most of them are come from the semester five, which is uh, with the 53.9%. Okay, and then next, so as a discussion, Okay, what are the factors in okay, the objective just now, uh, as mentioned, the, the factors that influence the career choice in the, uh, uh, in the hospitality industry. So we are focusing into the four factors that being uh, suit or uh, mostly, uh, mostly highlighted from the previous studies. Okay, first uh, factors is the uh, interest. Okay, so students tend to choose their study and their career path based on their interests and along with their personality, okay, which makes them uh, suit for their career. Okay, so for the family this, uh, tradition, people tend to have a family tradition work because of the salary and the parent influence because they want their child to have a good salary and better job was uh, stated as one of uh, the achievements. Okay, and then next factor is a great attain. Okay, so great attain for the hospitality are not required. 
yeah, as we uh, can see in terms of uh, uh, based on the industry's works and so on. Okay, and then uh, they are not uh, because they did not need more theoretical work okay, because of uh, most of the working in the hotel uh, hospitality industry, they based on the experience in, as compared to the great team. Okay, and then the uh, other is uh, lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle can be an influence of uh, income, social economy based on the uh, the way of uh, how uh, people tend to be uh, have a more power or security in terms of having a higher position levels in the hospitality industry. Okay, so next is uh, when we talk about the most influential factors in the career choice. Okay, so we can see from the mean score. Okay, that based on the element for interest, okay, for the uh, variable interest, we can see from the all the elements that been asked from the questionnaires, mostly they are uh, high. The highest mean score is uh, based on the I enjoy gain knowledge and skills in the hospitality industry with a four point three seven. Okay, and then for the variables of uh, uh, family tradition. Okay, so the element of my parent will support my career in the hospitality industry with a 4.21. Uh, okay, and then for the factors of great attain, uh, the question based on the I perform well all the subjects uh, assignment with a 4.03. Okay, and the last one, the, the last variable with the element of a hospitality career has a good opportunity for career advancement with a 4.27. Okay, so from this particular uh, mean score, it being, I can say that uh, the highest uh, mean score is uh, based on the interest um, uh, variables or interest factors. Okay, and then uh, next is a correlation analysis uh, summary. Okay, for the uh, interest factor, we have 0 0.67 with a positive correlation. It shows that this relationship uh, significantly, uh, statistically significant at the level of 0 0.01. Okay, and then for the next uh, second factors, which is the family tradition with the score uh, negative 0 0.5. One, one. Okay, so it shows that negative correlation and then it's not really significant. Okay, it's not significant. And then uh, for the great attain, okay, with the uh, positive correlation and then it shows the uh, pos uh, significant relationship, okay, with the, at the level of 0 0.01. Okay, and then the last one is a negative 0 0.42. Okay, 428 with the negative correlation a negative uh, correlation with the uh, relationship is not significant. So we can see that uh, it being supported in terms of the most influential factors is uh, based on the interest factor. Most of the uh, students, they are, uh, okay, here we can see as a conclusion and also recommendation, all the respondents answered the questions based on their personal factors of the career choices and most of the respondents choose uh, interest as uh, their uh, highest influential uh, factor. Okay, and then uh, this study is can uh, can be a real situation of undergraduate students and also encourage students in choosing the career path. Okay, beside that, it will help the counselor in expanding their uh, knowledge to uh, explain the significant impact on your future study and career uh, impact. So the, as the recommendation from these studies, uh, since we are uh, held this particular uh, data collection before the pandemic COVID-19, it being uh, suggested to have uh, to expand the scope of the studies for the uh, hospitality students during the new norms of a post-COVID-19 case. Okay, so that's all from uh, my presentation. Thank you. Back to the Madam Moderator. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Wan, for a great presentation. Any question from the floor, from the audience? Okay, uh, Dr. Hasro, any question? Uh, okay, thank you, uh, uh, Madam Chairperson. All right, uh, to one Nazria. So when I look at your methodology, okay, you you describe about cluster, okay, cluster approach in your methodology. So how 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 you you explain if you are using cluster, but your response only one to only one program. 
Uh, okay, so we uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Hasro. Okay, so uh, based on the study that we are uh, already uh, choose our respondents based on the uh, final year uh, hospitality students only. That's why we choose in terms of a cluster uh, uh, cluster sampling, which is uh, it based is not only one but uh, two. Uh, program which is food service and also hospitality hospitality management students. Oh, okay, right. Thank you. Okay. And then uh, they are divided into two semester. Uh, one is a uh, semester five, and, and another is semester uh, six. So altogether is about four semesters uh, or four batch uh, that being involved in this particular study. But we already uh, high, uh, recognize their categories. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Doctor Haslinda, can, you ask can I? Well, I do not have a question actually, Miss Nazria. Yes. Uh, but the thing is, I just want to comment on your presentation. Um, mm -hmm. From my point of view, you are able to engage audience interest, mine especially. <laughs> I don't know about others. <laughs> and Thank with you. your calm um, personality. Uh, you are able to present a very clear presentation. Thank so you very much. Put you on that. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor. Not doctor yet. Oh, to be <laughs> coming soon. I like Thank, you. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Okay, uh, now moving on to the third presentation. Uh, let me check. Okay, uh, Sangkai Punya Siri. I hear. Sangkai Punya Siri for the topic on relationships between work family conflict and job performance for five star hotels in Bangkok. Okay, Ms. Ferrell, should we move to the next presenter? Yeah, I believe so. All right. Not sure, not sure what happened uh, to, the pre to the third presenter. So we just move on to the next one if later on. Um, the presenter ada then we can proceed, the, okay. proceed lah. Ah, okay all right okay uh, next presenter miss laili on the topic of the impact of covid 19 pandemic on hotel service quality and customer satisfaction in pulau pinang malaysia okay miss laili laili are you ready okay, you may share your slide and start your presentation Laili, we can't hear you. Or is it just me? I'm not sure. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, but yes, you sir. sound like... Mm -hmm. ah. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. Very Yes. Assalamualaikum and a uh, very good morning to everyone. So my name is Nadia Fizamiti Aziz and today I will present about, I will present my study entitled The Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Hotel Service Quality and Customer Satisfaction in Pulau Pinang, Malaysia. So this is my presentation outline. As for the introduction, the coronavirus disease is the new enemy that has treated many lives in the in this world. The virus caused by novel coronavirus, that's also known as severe uh, respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, 
due to this uh, pandemic, strategies such as home quarantine, isolation, closure of school and workplace, and travel restrictions. Um, and this COVID-19 also affects globally. Uh, according to one and all 2020, COVID-19 known as the biggest outbreak. And it also affects hospitality. In terms of uh, can't at all, claims that most of the hotels struggle to survive and record of 30% of hotels forced to stop operation temporarily. So uh, this research uh, basically focused on 10 dimensions of service quality in the hotel, which is accommodation infrastructure, room quality, uh, front desk quality, food and beverage, uh, sociability, and then um, employee expertise, attitude and behavior of the employee, safety and security, customer interaction, waiting time and customer satisfaction. So in short, this study discussed on how this can uh, service quality would impact the customer satisfaction in the hotel during their stay uh, in terms of COVID-19. So this is the research problem. The the COVID-19 pandemic caused Malaysia hotel industry to restructure the organization by employing retrenchment, close down the hotel either temporary or even permanently as well as facing bankruptcy. And then uh, the hotel procedure changed during this global pandemic into the new normal. The standard operation procedure is copy that the hotel should implement in terms of scan the body temperature, cleaning the sanitation of the hotel building, uh, using the hand sanitizer, as well as social distancing between the guests about one meter. So um, when this SOP applied, customer satisfaction might be deferred due to many procedures before they can be able to check in. So the new procedure applied in hotels, uh, such as they only allow uh, only the room service and then also this affect the quality of the service in the hotel. Therefore, uh, this study wants to find out on how this COVID-19 pandemic really influenced the customer satisfaction during their stay in the hotel in this period. So this is the research framework uh, adopted by the Robin and Co. All. 10 dimensions and this is the uh, hypothesis. This is the dependent variable, which is customer satisfaction, and this is the independent variable. You move on to the research objective. Uh, number one is to examine the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the service quality and customer satisfaction. The second one is to identify the most influential factors that are affecting the customer satisfaction. The research question is, what is the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on service quality and customer satisfaction? And number two is, what is the most influential factor affecting the customer satisfaction? So this is the significance of the study uh, we have in terms of academic and a practical contribution. In terms of academic contribution, it can provide a better understanding of the customer satisfaction during the global pandemic as service quality considered as the important quality of the gas need during their stay. So the, this study focused on service quality. Hello? Can everyone hear me? Yes, sure. Continue. So um, this uh, study, uh, the service quality and the data was collected during the period of COVID-19 pandemic. Does this reflect the recent situation of the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia? And in terms of practical contribution, um, we have uh, in terms of Malaysian Association of Hotel, which is they can increase uh, more information. In terms of hotel operator, they can improve uh, the more on hotel, the more on service quality and in terms of customer, they will be aware more on the service quality provided by the hotel. This is the literature review. We have customer satisfaction, service quality, accommodation infrastructure, attitude and behavior of the employee, customer interaction, employee expertise, food and beverage quality, runness quality, room quality, safety and security, sociability, waiting time. So uh, we move on to the research methodology. The first one is the research design, which is uh, this study used uh, descriptive 
cross-sectional study was applied using quantitative uh, approach. This quantitative research used electronic questionnaires to gather the data. The next one is the research sampling, which is uh, the expected sample size based on the Craigie and Morgan 1970. Um, we have uh, a expected sample of 384 as the population is 1.76 million. So, uh, however, uh, this study uh, gathered 400 samples but only 160 samples that are eligible. This is due to the, uh, during MCO, most of the hostage shutdown as the government restricted unnecessary uh, sector to operate. So distribution might do not reach the expected sample. The next one is the non-probability sampling as this study aims for the participant that is easy to access uh, beside the ram randomization. And then convenience sampling as uh, this study choose the closest person to be um, to be uh, the respondent. So this one is the research instrument, which is we use the electronic questionnaire and we have staff section. Last one is the data collection procedure, which is this, this uh, study using online surveys starting from 23 February until 9 June 2021. And the platform used is the Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, as well as the uh, WhatsApp. And the reminders alert also uh, imposed uh, around two, two weeks. Um, one, once to in two weeks, uh, around three times. So this is the research instrument, mostly adopted by the NUNCO and all 2019. This is the reliability test, which is the table shown that all the variables are highly reliable, which a score point more than 0 0.70. According to the Nunelli and Develi 2000. 2003 minimum level of 0 0.7 for the scale of rival is considered as being high reliability. So to conclude this findings prove that reliability test for the appropriateness of the instrument that used in the study. This is the regression analysis. Uh, the waiting time shows the highest beta at 0 0.401. So the this is the correlation analysis. Most variables have positive and medium strength relationship. We move on to the discussion. From the result of the inferential, inferential analysis, it proved that all the independent variables leads to the customer satisfaction. All the hypothesis support, as we can see from the previous result, the correlation value explains the relationship between service quality and customer satisfaction with the R2 value explained 69% uh, of the total variance. So the first percentage state that the association between the rival were at this. This finding gathered uh, from the study agreed that service quality highly influenced the customer satisfaction through many aspects and COVID-19 has an impact in the service quality and customer satisfaction. The next is the next is for the objective two, which is what is the most influential factor affecting the customer satisfaction. The regression model proved that the significant influence of independent variables with the dependent variables. So, um, in this in this uh, result, we show that waiting time has the highest regression, which is indicated as the most influential factor. In conclusion, both study objectives are achieved. The limitation of the study is uh, this study only focused in Penang and only focused in aspect of service quality and customer satisfaction. So as for the recommendations, uh, this study recommend for the largest scope of area of population and explore on and for future researchers to explore more on the other aspects such as perceived value, image, service experience and type of service in order to examine to what extent this variable influence the service quality and customer satisfaction. So in conclusion, some of the suggestions have been written down for the consideration of the management of the hotels to increase the customer satisfaction. It is particularly important for the hotel to take an action for them to increase their level of service quality. This also can help the hotels to be more competitive in the future and will be able to survive in this pandemic area. 
that the higher the level of service quality, the more level of the customer satisfaction. So this is the reference and that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Laili, for a good presentation. Any question from the audience? Dr. Hasro. Okay, thank you, uh, 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 Chairperson. Okay, uh, for the presenter just now, uh, what's the name? Uh, Laili. Laili. Okay, Laili. Okay, Laili. All right. When when I look at your academic contribution, I'm I'm very excited. Uh, when you mentioned about the expectancy disconfirmation theory, but when I look at the analysis, uh, which angle or the subsection under the expectancy disconfirmation theory that the study fit into? Because under expectancy disconfirmation theory, there are three angles: first, positive disconfirmation, and then negative disconfirmation confirmation and the other one is zero disconfirmation and for the expectancy disconfirmation you need to have expectancy expectancy versus actual satisfaction which your study analysis does not measure to that point so how you uh, respond to that but if we don't have that expectancy disconfirmation you just can read out and get rid of it or just remove it i think much suitable for the theory would be the performance only model for your study, not expectancy disconfirmation. So, dalam expectancy disconfirmation, so there are three angle. First, positive, negative, and zero. Which angle your study fit into the sections of that of that theory? To by Oliver Siamlas upon follow. I see it fit in term of positive. Kalau positive, kena uh -huh. ada kena ada descriptive data about uh, the expectancy versus the actual satisfaction. Kalau positive disconfirmation means that there will be high satisfaction among customer. Maknanya expectation is very low, actual satisfaction ataupun the actual performance of that particular service at that destination is very high. The uh -huh. expect is very low but the performance of that particular destination is very high. So it will lead to uh, positive disconfirmation, maknanya dia akan increase satisfaction. Tapi dalam um. study, dalam analysis, there is no mention or analysis about that positive, negative or zero. Much of the study, the analysis uh, lebih suitable uh, kepada performance only model. Okay, I think maybe uh. that not suitable. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hasro. Any other question from the audience? If there is no question, we can move to the next presenter. I think I see Sankai. Okay, Miss Sankai. Okay, are you ready, Miss Sankai? Okay, um, next presenter. Ms. Sankai, the topic is on relationships between work-family conflict and job performance of five-star hotels in Bangkok. Okay, so yes. the platform is yours. You can... Yes, start. can I share the um, PowerPoint? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, just a minute. Thank you so much, Cher. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm not quite get used to with the Zoom, okay? Um, so I use this present now, right? Okay. I can't see it. พลอยอาจารย์สกรีนเนาะตรงพรีเซนต์นาวอาจารย์พรีเซนต์นาวใช่ป่ะใช่ค่ะตรงข้างๆมือค่ะอาจารย์น่าจะต้องกดขึ้
ซูมมันอยู่ที่ไหนนะเนี่ยอืมโอเคขึ้นไหมขึ้นขึ้นไหมคะยังไม่เห็นนะอาจารย์ปอดพลอยได้ยินไหมพลอยได้ยินอาจารย์ไหมได้ยินค่ะทำไมตอนนี้อาจารย์กลับไปที่เดิมไม่ได้อ่ะใช่ก็หมายถึงว่ามันอยู่ที่ที่ซูมใช่ไหมอยู่หน้าใช่อาจารย์แต่หมายถึงว่าอาจารย์กลับไปที่ซูมอับแป๊บหนึ่งนะคะคือซูมอาจารย์ไม่ขึ้นแล้วว่าอาจารย์ไม่เห็นนะมันค้างไปแล้วหรออาจารย์ Can you hear me? Yes, very clear, but I didn't see your screen yet. Okay, so maybe you have some problem with the presentation. Um, can you see the presentation now? Um, no, not yet. Okay, maybe maybe we have trouble. Can I pre just present without the presentation? Can you share the slide uh, in the chat box, or I can I can play the slide for you if if you want me. Okay. Technical. Okay. Okay. Share the slides in the chat box. Okay. Okay. Wait. Um, wait. อ่าบริเจอคาราวคาราวชิฟต์ดัลล์ชิฟต์ใช่ไหมคิดจะตุลงอ่าพรีเซนต์กันอย่าแอนนี่ไทม์เดี๋ยวนะคืออาจารย์อะตอนนี้เปิดอยู่แต่ว่ามันแชร์ไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออดีโอไม่ได้ออด
Good afternoon, Chairperson and the guests and the committees here. My name is Sankhe Punyasli. Okay, my co-researcher, my student is Tabanpon Yipsam Pumijit. I would like Tabanpon to introduce herself a little bit, please, Tabanpon. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tabanpon Yipsam Pumijit. I'm graduate for bachelor degree of uh, form at the University and also in the master degree I graduated from National Institution of Development Administration. Uh, but right now I'm uh, the, the studying in the doctorate student at the National Institution of Development Administration and one who uh, study about this subject into deeper in the detail at the review the structural equation modeling the strategy in the Fighter Hotel also. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Taban Porn. Okay. So uh, Taban Porn is uh, my student in master degree program in tourism and hospitality at the GSTM of the NIDA Bangkok, Thailand. I am her advisor. So now she uh, she's in our PhD program also uh, further her de uh, PhD degree in the same pro in the same uh, in tourism and hospitality. So the topic of uh, research today is relationship between work family conflict and performance of the five star hotel in Bangkok. Okay, we would like I would like to talk about four topics today. It's uh, on the first one is going to be the purpose and the problem. The second one it's be research methodology. The third one is findings and discussion. And the last one is we will talk about the theoretical and practical implications that I propose to uh, the conference as an extended abstract. Um, first, I would like to talk about the purpose of this research paper is to study the relationship between work and family conflict factors and the efficient works of front line staff at Five Star Hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. Work family conflict is a common problem faced by employees in all sectors of the economy, especially in hospital industry due to the nature of the job that needs to be performed in attempt of always satisfy hotel guests. That means they, they probably work 24 hours before COVID, actually. Um, um, it is very important to conduct this research because the responsible of the multiple role the responsibilities of the employees as the multiple roles are more likely to experience interroll or work family conflict involving incompatible demands. Job performance as one of direct consequences of work family conflict has been examined by several researchers. However, in this study aims to focus on job performance of the frontline employee working in hospital, in, in hospitality, it means like in hotel, okay? So uh, we focus on the frontline staffs at work at five-star hotels in Bangkok. And we have two main uh, factors, uh, work family conflicts and job performance that we're going to uh, study. Why is work family conflict in hospitality industry is matter? The work family conflicts is a complex phenomenon experienced by employees in the hospitality industry, specifically factors at the individual job and organizational level contribute to perception of work family conflict. In turn, work family conflict predicts employees' individual well-being outcomes as well as their job-related outcomes. A form 
the work family conflict is a form of inter role conflict in which the role pressures from the work and family domains are mutually incompatible in some respect. The experience of the work family conflict can occur in two directions from work to family, as well as from family to work, and because these factors are distinct constructs. So, next, from many literature review of previous studies, we design our conceptual framework. As, as you see, the conceptual framework is personal factors of the respondents and the work family conflict factors. Uh, means uh, family-related factors, time-related factors, and work-related factors that we will relate it to the job performance. In the job performance, um, we concern our personal or individual performance of, of the employees in the hotel industry. And another one is tax performance of the employees. That will be the, another uh, factors that we would like to analyze is okay next is the objectives of <clears throat> the research we are we have two objective of the, this research to study the personal factors of the respondents related to the job performance of the frontline hotel uh, staffs at five star hotel in bangkok the second objective study the work family conflict factors related to job performance of the frontline staff at Five Star Hotel in Bangkok. Okay. For the research methodology is the quantitative research method, which collects the questionnaires from 400 frontline staffs of the 22 Five Star Hotels in Bangkok. Uh, maybe three years ago, Taban Pon, is it three years ago? Okay, be before we faced the COVID, 22 five-star hotels in Bangkok that uh, we can collect the data. Then using the descriptive statistic, a correlation research design measure a relationship between two variables to test the hypothesis. The occurrence of the work-family conflict has been linked to three factors. Okay, the first one that it's um, work family work related. Okay, work related um, work family conflict factors. It means work related factors, time related factors, and family related factors. The concept is work family conflict can be cat characterized as a time related. Time devoted to work de de detracts from participation in the family domains and, and the time-based conflict occurs when the time demands associated with one role restrict the amount, the amount of the time that can be devoted to the other roles, inhibiting one's performance in the latter role. Okay. The research results review that the respondents range in age from 26 to 30 years old, 30 years. And 72.8 were female. And 39% work at front desk. 20.2 20, work as the res reservations. Hall Porter is 15.7%, cashier 10.6%, reception 11%, and telephone operator 3.5%. Work family conflict factors show the element of the um, hotel workload, work overload, tensions from work, Paikun Minui. Okay, I've shown you the, the the elements under the work family conflict factors, hotel workload, work overload, tension from works, less teamwork, supervisor support. And for the family work conflict factors, 
is the family there are family demand family interfere my home life interfere to work life stress and for time-based conflict factors consists of flex flexible schedule arrangement long working hours um, time management need technology help and time conflicts and for the job performance the job performance is um the job performance consists of two factors the personal or individual performance of the employees uh that's co that consists of the creating creative thinking new knowledge uh willing to help ability to solve the problem of the employees as an individual performance for the tax performance it means the accuracy of work, efficiency of work, quality of work, also the achievement of work. Okay. Um, for the result, we also um, show you some of the, the findings here. The findings here is indicate the correlation between work family factors was significant as as a positive and negative among front lines employees of five star hotel in bangkok the work family factors negatively related to personal performance at the low level the work family conflict factors positive related to tax performance at the low level so um i can see the as we study for the the Bu in a or on the 2005 we see that uh Bu in and 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 team has no significant relationship between work family conflict and job performance from his research for third family work fam family work conflict factors positively related to personal performance at moderate level family work conflict factors positively related to tax performance at the low level we can see the, the research support from kalatepe and bada 2006 the study in Tur turkey study about frontline hotel staff and we found and they found that work family conflict and family work conflict also negatively predicts employee service performance also, Karatepi and Kilix on 2007 also study in Turkey. Study of frontline hotel staff about family work conflict negatively predicts job performance. Uh, we, we, I, I, can, I show the two research that support uh, the, founding, the findings. So for about the time-based conflict factors, negatively related to personal performance at the low level time based conflict factor positively related to tax performance at the low level we find a supporting research of the melat on a uh, kylo study of the effective time management will improve employees productivity in hotel so um it would be i think would be all oh okay it's the next slides the next topic is theoretical and practical um implication for the theoretical implication this study proposed a theoretical model of work family conflict the model is comprising of three important construct Firstly, is the work family conflict, family work conflict, and time base related to performance and individual of work outcome. For the practical implications, hotels should help frontline employees to effectively manage and work family factors through technology help, reducing the time and energy they must be devoted to a certain role. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sanke, for a great presentation. Uh, any question from the audience? 
Okay, Dr. Hasko, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you uh, to the Honorable Chairperson. Okay, uh, to uh, uh, presenter uh, Dr. Sanke and uh, her student Taban Pon. So I'm not uh, very good at research actually. So I'm not, not you, you, it's not necessary that you need to take my words here. Okay, but overall your research study in general, I would say it is good. But uh, one small aspect that I uh, identify at your objective, uh, you, you, you identify or you mention about to, to study uh, and the other one for the second objective is also to study well as, as well as uh, as far as I'm concerned, a well-worded objective should be smart, uh, should be specific, measurable, mm -hmm. attainable, realistic and time bound. When I look at your analysis, uh, I think you can reword your objective to example to investigate, to determine, to examine, to associate, to assess, to correlate it would be much better. Okay, that's my opinion. Oh, All right. thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. that's why Tapan Pond is looking forward to do, uh, to study more and understanding more, understanding more on reducing work family conflict in hospitality industry, industry in her PhD degree. So now she is trying to uh, come up with the SEM uh, study on the mediating of the work family conflict to reduce work family conflict in hospitality industry. Thank you very much. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's great. Okay, bye bye. Any other Thank question? You. Thank you, uh, Dr. Hasro. Any other question from the audience? Wanna see Inda? Uh, no, I don't really have any feedback uh, for both presenters. I think she's a she's very experienced uh, researcher and presenter, so no comment on that. Very good. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you very much. Thank you. So thank you, everyone. So I think that's all for this session because the last presenter, Noliana, called in sick, so she will not be presenting. Okay, uh, uh, Miss Feria, anything? Uh, all good. I rasa if everyone is done, then uh, no, nothing from me. I'm all good. Okay. Thank you so much. much. Yeah, thank, thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, co-chair. Thank you, the presenters. Thank you, juries. We'll see you guys in the closing ceremony. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. Okay. All the best. Bye. All the best. Bye. Bye. Bye.